number one M Tash tier, and just finished watching this trailer f called The Flash. Uh, it's Jing Yuan's uh, trailer. If you haven't watched it, go watch it already. It's on the uh, Honkai Star Rail official YouTube. Uh, but man, this character looks amazing. It's giving me a little bit of like Hunter Hunter vibes with. Uh, well, I don't want to spoil anything if you somehow haven't watched Hunter Hunter, but uh, it looks really cool. This character is going to be an electro uh, or lightning iridition character. So lots of AOE, big juicy hits. And uh, I'll show you their kit in just a minute, but I thought this was beautiful. Um, they, they nail it. Their animation is amazing. Genshin Impact is getting an anime um, down the road. I don't know when it's going to actually be out, but that anime... I can imagine is going to be absolutely stunning overall. Uh, I can't wait to see it, honestly. And uh, just stuff like this, you look at it and it's like, this is this is gorgeous. Uh, why is my forehead so shiny? What the hell? Um, this animation is just, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. And uh, they always do good work. Now, I don't think I'm going to go through this whole thing and, and watch it. I more just wanted to talk about the character because I thought he looked like a badass. And, uh, and this attack right here, so sick like i i just want to use him because i think it would be really cool to have this uh animation playing all the time where i got this big like electric god uh slicing and dicing so this unit is really interesting because he essentially summons a lightning lord it's like another unit that's going to be on your team however uh if you've ever played the abundance path in simulated universe where you get that automatic heal it's going to be in the turn order so all your characters and all the enemies are going to be going uh, and getting their turns, and this Lightning Lord will get its own turns. But Jing Yuan will also do his own attacks. He can do his normal attack, skill his ultimate. He will do his own damage, but the Lightning Lord is extra. And the damage that it does is considered follow-up damage, which is very interesting, uh, because if you do Simulated Universe, um, it will benefit from any of those follow-up uh, follow attack buffs, and you could maybe pair him with someone like Clara, who's doing a bunch of uh, counterattacks and follow-up attacks, and you could actually have some pretty interesting comps going. Now, he is a Lightning Iridition character, so lots of area of effect. Both his skill and his ultimate are AoE electric hits, uh, so should be pretty good for taking out some shields, but also just slamming enemies and doing some AoE, which is always nice. Now... The interesting thing is this this electric lord has its own speed and it will attack multiple times each turn. So it's got a 60 base speed, which is relatively slow, but it will attack three different times. Um, now that's going to be based on Jing Yuan and his attack, uh, and then it does a little bit of splash damage, which is, is, is fine. That being said, if you use his skill, uh, you can see here, it will increase the actions per turn by two, for the um, for the Light Lord, with Light Bringer, it will increase by three. And so, hypothetically, what you can do here is you can use both your skill uh, and your ultimate, and it's now going to attack eight times instead of three times. And uh, that's quite a bit of damage to get here, uh, a nice little burst of damage. And if it is hitting multiple times, that means that it is shredding shields multiple times. And if it's shredding shields multiple times, it also means that if you're getting that nihility buff that can apply debuffs, you've got multiple hits here going bop, 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 potentially applying debuffs. So I, I do see some very interesting potential here. Um, this is a character that you may want to consider running uh, like speed boots on. Because if you build him fast, he can get more turns in to get more uh, skills off and ultimates off to then buff that passive. However, you could also just build up attack boots and just build a bunch of damage, and then each hit is better. So I don't know exactly what's going to be best, um, but if you can continually use these skills, you're going to uh, push up that base speed on the Lightning Lord, and then you're just going to get more turns out of it and, and more damage, and I, I don't know. Uh, there's probably some crazy math on what's actually optimal. Um, the interesting thing is if you start the fight out uh, with this technique, it automatically gets uh, three actions per turn right at the start. Um, and this will obviously decrease after the turn is done. But uh, as long as you're, um, I mean, you don't even need speed boots. It's only 60 base speed. But I don't think you even need any speed rolls. Hypothetically, you start the fight uh, with the technique, and then you pop these, and it's maxed out on speed, maxed out on damage, maxed out on hits. And uh, I think it's going to be pretty easy to use this guy and get value. 
I think there's a lot of electric units in the game, or sorry, not electric units, electric weakness enemies that you need to deal with. There's so many robots, and I haven't built Serval yet, and so I would really like to get this guy. I don't know if I will get him because I have to win the 50-50, and I have, like, no wishes whatsoever, but he seems really good. Um, if you look at his uh, traces, this one here, um, pretty cool if you stack a bunch of crit rate. Uh, this is going to be a nice chunk of damage. 25 um, crit damage thrown in um, as long as it has six or more actions per turn. So essentially, you have to use your ultimate. Um, you have to open up the fight with your, with your technique, or you have to do your skill in your ultimate. Whatever the combo is, you just need at least kind of two abilities going off, and then it's going to get 25% extra crit damage, which is pretty cool. You also start your fight, you start your battle with, with 15 energy gained, which makes it easier to get into your ult to give it turns. And then on top of this, when you use your skill, increases your crit rate by 10% for two turns, which is just super good. 10% crit right there. You can get more crit right there, a little bit more there, a little bit more there. That's pretty juicy to be thrown into the kit. I mean, some units have like effect resistance. So getting crit rate built in right there, like uh, what is that, nine... Pfft, Almost uh, 13%. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Other than that, um, not too much more I really have to say about this guy. You can get Eidolons because that's going to make everything stronger. But I would not go for Eidolons in this game. I would go for diversity. I went Eidolons on Sila because I'm dumb. I, I don't know why I did it. But um, you want diversity. You want different characters optimally so you can deal with different enemies. And, uh, and I think that this guy is going to be pretty cool. But you have to remember that uh, Kafka is coming. Everyone likes Kafka. I mean, I like her. She looks pretty cool. She's coming. Uh, apparently, Silver was coming. And apparently, this unit is, like, insane, especially if you have Zila. And so I don't know if uh, Jingyuan is going to be meta or not. They also talked about this healer coming. Um, Luca, Lucha. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to, to recommend at this moment in time. Um, I have a feeling that if the rumors are true about Silverwolf, she's going to be kind of meta. She's kind of like a Kazuha vibe, uh, boosting up your damage or, or shredding the defenses um, of particular elements. I see some major potential there if the leaks are true, but can't see her kit official on this website, and I don't want to go much further. Kafka is is kind of like a kind of seems like she's going to be paired with other damage over time users to really benefit and like double down on it, which is a, a cool playstyle. It's a different playstyle, um, but I don't know when these characters are all going to be coming out. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull. I'm just going to use every wish that I can, and if I get them, I get them. If I don't, then we'll go for Silverwolf. And if we somehow didn't get enough for her, that's okay. We'll go for whoever else comes out. But for right now. Um, I'm just trying to build up my characters, hopefully get through the uh, Memorial Forgotten Memories or whatever to get some uh, Stellar Jade because I have like two wishes. I'm poor. I've got nothing. Luckily for me, two, uh, two wishes is probably enough. <laughs>